G'day. So a bit of a fun um, video today. We get to add some images to the site. These are some images which I've taken just as a sample. We'll see if we can get them uh, happening and looking pretty and into the site. I've got the images cut into a square, uh, or sorry, cropped into a square section, ready to uh, put into the, the PAX library, uh, anticipating that they're already squares anyway. I found when I put the images into the uh, into the library section here, um, I didn't need the top padding top anymore. So I still want to have these images uh, laid out as full background uh, in inside each section, so it'll take up about fifty percent of the of the uh, of the area. Over the top of the image, I'll put a um, an overlay. Uh, the intention is we can have some fun and change the background colors or whatever we need to do or the background overlays and that will make the, uh, the text appear a lot brighter. The actual image in the background here, uh, to be fair, is irrelevant. We'll get that sorted out once, it's, uh, once we have a bit of a direction. Uh, the main thing here is to ensure that we can uh, apply images to the site and that everything's functioning correctly. I just uh, at this point here in the site, um, I'm just struggling to put an overlay uh, over the top of the image. And uh, it's still my head in until I realize, ah, oh, okay, I should be doing a, a separate uh, div. But it's working. All good. Sorry, uh, the class was on uh, the incorrect div. So we'll have a bit of fun and just doing different colors through here. Um, yeah, we could, uh, we could keep that or we could get a theme, a site theme color as well. Main thing is though everything appears to be functioning. The only issue is that the uh, overlay is over the top of the text as well, so it's coloring the text. Once uh, once we do have the um, images allocated, we'll be able to go back and put in some alt text to help with the SEO of the site. Still having a hard time getting the overlay on the image without discoloring, uh, discoloring the text. So, how can we do it? Dump a uh, separate div in, <laughs> and uh, basically make its own section. Its own, uh, its own div, div, and then we're sorted. So, if if we can have these images in the background, uh, perhaps we can make them a transparent sort of image. Uh, well, sorry, with a transparent background, uh, we could have uh, images of the actual sample itself through uh, or set, actual image of the preset. We can have an uh, image of when the ambient area was recorded. There's lots of opportunities for images here, just ensuring that they are compressed down so as not to slow the site, slow the site too much. Um, these images, though, are purposely uh, below the fold, so the initial page load speed won't be impacted too much. That's my intention. So I've got the site running pretty good at the moment, or the way that I'm aiming for anyway. Uh, I've got the nav bar in place, it's not going anywhere. The 
animation at the top. The cards are looking good. Got some images in place now. And it all seems to be functioning well on or responsive on mobile sites too. Cool, so the site's really coming along now. So thanks very much for watching the video today and uh, see you in the next one. Take care.